Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds, your seed guru. Today we are talking about hydrogen peroxide and how to germinate those super difficult to grow chili seeds. So the cool thing about, about growing seeds is that um, you get to experience how to germinate different kinds of seeds and different seeds have different seed requirements. And uh, typically the most difficult to germinate seeds are those super hot chili seeds. But it's not just super hot chili seeds. You can use hydrogen peroxide to germinate almost any seed. We, we especially use hydrogen peroxide when we are trying to germinate seeds um, that are, are very old. So if we get someone that actually brings us a whole lot of very, very old seeds that they unearthed in their grandfather or grandmother's seed collection, and they are 10, 15, 20 years old, we'll actually use hydrogen peroxide to help stimulate the germination of those seeds. And I'm going to run through and explain why hydrogen peroxide works. And the most important thing is to understand is what this actual seed requires when it germinates. So when you look at a seed, and typically seed moisture content is is anywhere between three and seven percent five percent is basically quite a, a quite a good um, seed moisture content and what happens is when you put the seed into into water a whole lot of processes start happening and the process of the seed absorbing water that process the name for it is called imbibition and it's imbibing like we would drink, we would imbibe some water, or we'd imbibe um, some other kind of fluid. The, the seed is imbibing water and it's imbibition. And that process kickstarts a whole lot of processes inside the actual seed. So when we drill down into the seed, all of the cells inside the seed need to hydrate with water and it needs to kick off a whole lot of processes that are working inside that seed. So when you look at a seed um, or the cell of a seed, inside the cell there's a whole lot of little, and they're actually called organelles. So you've got mitochondria, you've got the nucleus, you've got um, the endoplasmic reticulum, you've got Golgi apparatus. You have all of these fantastic little things inside the cell and they, they need to start communicating with each other. And there's a number of, of um, of, of chemicals that are used for the communication process and that communication that communication process is called cellular crosstalk and take a guess what one of the chemicals is that is used for cellular crosstalk so yes hydrogen peroxide there's nitric oxide there's a number of of chemicals that are used for cellular crosstalk however hydrogen peroxide the seed itself produces hydrogen peroxide and the hydrogen perox perox let me try that again the hydrogen peroxide initiates the cellular crosstalk so the nucleus tells the mitochondria to start working the mitochondria has a chat to the endoplasmic reticulum the golgi app and all of these all of these little organelles start speaking to each other and they speak to each other with hydrogen peroxide if one of those organelles fail what happens is the seed actually it's, um, the viability of the seed starts degrading so what you are doing is you are taking the, the requirement for the seed to produce hydrogen peroxide away and you are giving the seed hydrogen peroxide so it can initiate its cellular crosstalk um, without producing hydrogen peroxide and it can initiate cellular crosstalk easier. And that is why a seed germinates better when you are using hydrogen peroxide. So the question is, how much hydrogen peroxide so they've done a whole lot of scientific tests what you can do is you can just google hydrogen peroxide seed germination percentages and all of those wonderful things and you can actually um, pull up a whole lot of scientific papers to understand exactly what is required however i've done all of that work before and as you can see we have a whole lot of seedlings over here the majority these are all pepper seedlings over here the majority of, or, or not the majority all of these pepper seedlings were germinated using the hydrogen peroxide method that i'm going to show you now hydrogen peroxide is what's considered on an ros which is a, a a reactive oxygen species and um, 
all of the cells in your body, all of the cells inside, inside plants and animals, they require hydrogen peroxide for cellular crosstalk. So you have hydrogen peroxide in your body right now, but you have minuscule amounts. Um, and they've done the scientific tests, 1.5% is the maximum. We try to operate at 1% at or just over 1% and the solution that I'm going to show you now is exactly that. So one of the things to remember is that ultraviolet light will actually destroy hydrogen peroxide which is why hydrogen peroxide is in a brown bottle. We, we mix it up into one of these Betex bottles over here and it's quite cool because we can open up this side over here and we can squeeze out the exact amount of 1% um, hydrogen peroxide solution that we require. We actually mark the bottle, you'll see but both sides of this bottle is marked. So it's marked at 1% hydrogen peroxide and we will only use this for about a week and then we will replace it because the hydrogen peroxide inside here has, has actually been destroyed by ultraviolet light. Guys, let's talk about diluting your hydrogen peroxide. Depending on where you buy your hydrogen peroxide, there'll be two different figures on here. It'll either be a volume figure or a percent figure or both. This bottle has both, it's 40 volume and, and 12%. If you are buying hydrogen peroxide and it comes with, with only a volume measurement, uh, the volume measurement is normally for, for cosmetic purposes, for hair dyeing and things like that. What you do is you take whatever volume it is and you multiply it by 0.3. So if you take 40, multiply it by 0.3, it'll give you a 12% um, hydrogen peroxide concentration. And we want to work with a percentage concentration because um, it's just a lot easier for us. So this is a 12% solution. We will take a liter of water, our liter of water into the Betex bottle. We'll put 100 mils of hydrogen peroxide inside here and that'll dilute it to just over 1% solution. I like to stick on the lower end. So scientifically between 1% and 1.5%, that is the sweet spot for hydrogen peroxide for C germination. Um, I'm on the lower end, so I'm just over 1% with, with, this, with this mixture over here. If you, if you can get 3% solution, you do the exact same thing. It's 100 mils of 3%, you add 200 mils of water, you're at your 1% solution, which is exactly at the, at the um, sweet spot for C germination. The cool thing about hydrogen peroxide, and I explained the cellular crosstalk to you earlier. The cellular crosstalk is, is, is absolutely essential to get the seed to germinate correctly. The nice thing about hydrogen peroxide is that if you have seed that has a, a, a nasty bacteria or even a good bacteria or a, a, a fungal growth on it, the hydrogen peroxide will kill that for you. We put it into our Ziploc bags, we let it soak for 12 hours. After 12 hours we take the seed out, we'll give it a light rinse and then we'll plant it directly and we'll rinse it with just, just plain fresh water, we'll plant it directly into our germination mix. If you found any value in this video, can I ask you guys to please like the video, subscribe, it ensures that uh, the YouTube algorithm pushes the Living Seeds farm content directly to you. Thank you.